Hi everyone, in this lesson we're going to be having a look at Aviation by The Last Shadow Puppets. This is the third single to be released from their new album, Everything You've Come to Expect. Uh, now, I've structured this lesson mainly for beginners, so I've worked out a version that minimises the use of bar chords. However, what I'm going to do throughout is I'm going to call both the names of the uh, chords that we need with the capo on. So you can see I've got a capo here at the third fret. So for example, we have an E minor to start with. But I'm also going to call out the name of the actual chord. So anybody who's proficient with bar chords will already know that if you do an E minor shape bar chord at the third fret using your finger rather than the capo, then that will be a G minor chord. So I will call out both names throughout so you more advanced players can go and play uh, using bar chords, which is, I think, how the song is played. Okay, so we'll start by having a look at the strumming pattern that we're going to use then. Uh, the strumming pattern that is used on the original is quite hard to hear. It's sort of buried quite deep in the mix. Um, so I've put together a strumming pattern that sort of mimics the lead part uh, that is being played throughout the song. Okay, and that is going to be this. I'm just going to mute out the strings with my hand here. So it's going to be down, 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 up, down, up, 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 down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up, 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 down, up. Okay, so we'll do that continually then. So that's down, 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 up, down, up. Okay, so with a chord on then, I put the E minor chord on to start with, so that's down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. Okay, so let's have a look now at the chords we're going to need then. So we're going to start off with an E minor. Okay, so E minor will be a G minor without the capo. Okay, we then have an F sharp minor. Okay, so this is an E minor bar shape done up at the fifth fret, so that's two frets above the above the capo. Uh, now you can cheat a little bit here if you can't handle uh, bar chords at all. If you can just bar the first three strings on the uh, second fret above the capo, there on the fifth fret, you can uh, then place your third finger on the seventh fret of the D string and just play from the D string. Okay, that'll give you the same chord, the F sharp minor, without having to do a full bar chord. Uh, that is an A minor, by the way, for all those uh, interested in doing it without the capo on. Okay, then next we have uh, an A minor. Okay, so this would be a C minor without the capo. We then have a C chord. This would be a D sharp without the capo. We then have a B7. And that would be D7 without the capo. And then finally we have a G chord. And that one would be an A sharp without the capo. Okay, so first of all we have an intro. So this is just the E minor chord. And it's going to be played for four bars. So the, uh, the rhythm pattern we looked at a minute ago, that is one bar of 16th note strumming, so we need four of them in total, so. Okay, then we move on to the verse. So the verse again starts on the E minor, and we're going to do two bars of that. Okay, we then go on to our F sharp minor. So I'm going to do the full bar chord version here, but if you're just doing that simple version, it works just as well. Okay, so two bars of that. We then go to the A minor and do two bars. Okay, we then go back to our E minor and do another two bars. Okay, so that's the verse progression. That's one round of the verse progression. So the first verse that's played in the song actually does that twice. So we need to go through all of that again. Okay, 
now we come to the chorus. So the chorus starts again on the E minor, so two bars of that. We then go to a C chord, two bars. go to an A minor, and then to the E minor again for two bars. Okay, we now do our verse progression, just one round this time. We go back to the chorus progression which we're going to do twice so the first time we do it we do it as normal the second time we're going to change the very last chord very slightly so i'll show you when we get there so here's the first time around Okay, so notice there when we did the E minor chord at the end, we did one full bar of the E minor. We then did half a bar on E minor. And then we went to a G chord. So let me show you that nice and slowly then. So it's one full bar of the E minor. And then half a bar. I'm just doing down, 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 up, down. Then changing to the G chord and going up, 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 down. Okay, so that will give you. Okay, so now we have a bridge. So we're going to start this on a C chord. Do one bar. Okay, we then go to an A minor. Do half a bar, just as we did before, but this time on the A minor chord. And then we go to a B7 chord and we complete the bar. Okay, so that'll give you... Okay, we then have a full bar of E minor. Full bar of A minor. And C, then G, and then we do a B7 for two bars. Okay, so I'll just play you through the whole of the bridge. Okay, and then we have uh, an outro section. So this starts on a C chord. Do one bar of that. Then we have a B7 chord. E minor. A minor. C. 
G. A minor. Then B7 for three bars. And then E minor for four bars. finish with just a single strum down on the E minor chord. Okay, so let me play you through all of the uh, outro. Okay, so I'll also show you the little lead part that takes place in the song. It's just a single bar of lead guitar that is just repeated over and over again throughout the well, nearly the entire song. There's a brief gap in the middle where it's not played, but pretty much it's just the same thing playing on each bar throughout the song. Okay, and it goes like this. Okay, so that is third fret of the B string. Then second to third on the uh, G string. Then first, third, first on the B string, followed by third and second on the G string. Okay, thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.